Ass Tucker. You wouldn't be Kali, would you? Yeah. Boy, well, you grew up a little. Oh, uh, not really. So your dad left about a year ago. Really? For where? I don't know. Hey, if, if I had a way for you to get in touch with him, I would. No, nah, that's all right. So were you hoping to play with the old man? I don't know. Uh, maybe just see him, really. How long are you in town for? I don't know. I haven't really got that far, actually. Well, you know, I have a room in the attic. I don't let out anymore. I suppose you could stay there for a while while you figure out what your next move is. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Sure. Um, it's, uh, it's up on the top of the stairs, first room on the left. Can I help you with this stuff? Uh, no, I think I'm all right, thanks. Okay. But... Hey, wait a minute. This is from your dad. Thank you. Okay. Get some rest. Cynthia was in. Is that Collie Rottweiler? Yeah. I guess it's been a while. Well, would you like to come in? Yeah. Come on. Cynthia is on a class trip up in Lake Erie. She'll be back before graduation next week. Do you want some tea? Uh, sure, thanks. What kind do you like? <laughs> 
Uh, do you have Irish breakfast? Hmm. You're in luck. Good choice. Watch out. It's hot. So how's Cynthia doing then? She seems to be doing all right. She was really looking forward to the trip though. How have you been? Good. How long you in town for? I don't know yet. I haven't really got that far. Where are you staying? Uh, Elijah's put me up for a bit, actually. So you heard about your dad leaving? Yeah. You know, you're beginning to look a lot like him. I'm sorry. I promised I would never tell anyone they looked like their parents. All my relatives did that to me. Nah, that's all right. I don't really remember what he looks like. Thanks for the tea, though. So what's it like being back? It's weird. I like it, though. How's your mom? She's all right. I'm surprised she didn't let you come up here. Hey, what's up? Do you uh, walk on these tracks every day at this time? Uh, I usually walk right before work. What? I usually walk a bit before work. Alright. Do you live around here? Yeah. Do you? Uh, I used to, like way back in the day. I just moved here again, so, you know. I'm, uh, I'm Kali. I'm, I'm Charlie. Charlie, all right, cool. So what was my dad doing with me all that money? Oh, you went down to the bank, did you? Yeah. Well, he inherited most of it, as far as I know. Really? When did that happen? I thought he was... It was... <coughs> it was... Four? <laughs> I don't know. I, I said this vision of him is kind of... Well, he was poor. Can I get you something to drink? Ah, uh, no, I'm alright. Your dad inherited this was a year and a half, two years ago. Right before he left, anyway. And he didn't take it with him. Oh, he took a good chunk. Enough to get him started, you know. But uh, he didn't want the rest. He wanted you to have some. Well, yeah. yeah. Your dad, he, uh, he didn't like hanging around with a lot of money. I don't know. He sort of, bad sort of made a sport out of just getting by. Hey, what's up? I thought I'd walk with you a bit for if that's cool. Keep the company. I mean, if you want to walk by yourself, I, I don't want to impose no, on no, you. No, 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 it's cool. All right, cool. You want to know what my full name is? Kali Rottweiler. Cigarette? No, I don't smoke. Yeah, cool. I don't really either. On occasion, you know. Gives me something to do. Figure at this point, why not?
<laughs> Shit. Yeah, anyway. Full name, Kali Rottweiler. Two dogs. Which is interesting, I think. But think if I'm most like any animal, it'd probably be a cat, you know, I've been thinking about it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, yeah, a cat. Like, I don't know, I got the whole solitary thing, the whole fending for myself thing. I don't know. What do you think? Don't answer that. Never mind. What? I don't. I don't really know you, so I. Yeah, no, I know. I, I probably wouldn't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Damn, I'm hungry. You hungry? Yeah. All right. So have you lived around here for a long time, or? Yeah, for a little. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Did you move, or? Um... I ran away. Really? I did too. Where do you stay? I stay in a church steeple. Oh, yeah? What? Church steeple? <laughs> oh shit. They have that bell and everything up there. And... Yeah. Okay. That is a pretty sweet setup. You have a job? I uh, I wash dishes at a restaurant a couple nights a week. And uh, you uh, you do all right that way? Yeah. I don't, I don't spend money on a lot of on a lot of things. Uh, where do you eat mostly? I, I eat a lot of Chef Boyardee, stuff like that. Cold? I like it. Well, there you go. How much further now? Look like I was cut out for high school, you know. It's a bunch of bullshit. I see next to people who'd get, they got like 88s on their test, they'd be like, oh my god, there goes Harvard. And they'd like cry. But the administration was down, when the school was down, they just fed them their own fear, packing them off, getting them ready for the workforce. It's crazy, I mean, these people had picked where they wanted to go. Like, when they were freshmen, like MIT, Stanford, Harvard, it's crazy. And they were doing it, they were working to get there, but. I mean, like, I, I don't get, I mean, even if they do all that, even if they get there, what, what are they going to get out of it? I don't know. My mom is a prime example. She's a, she's a newspaper editor. She worked 20 years to get her job or whatever. She's miserable. I mean, she has success leaking out her goddamn ears, and she's miserable. I don't know. At some point, I just woke up. I was like, what's the point? And it's just a matter of getting out of there. And here I am. Oh my god. You ever ring that thing? Wow, how long have you lived here? Well, almost a year. And no one's ever found you? No. Wow. It's beautiful. So like here at night, it must be quiet. I don't know. I I like it. I think I'd get spooked. It's kind of peaceful, I think.
Hey. You grew up. I've been working on it. You look good. You look old. Yeah, I feel old. So you're still at the high school then? Mm-hmm. About ready to get out of there. Well, I'm so used to it, I feel like I'm gonna miss it when it's over. So how was New Haven? Oh, uh, it was alright. I think I like it here better. But... Yeah, I remember you were pretty sad when you had to leave. It was a long time ago. I think I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette. I'll come with you. Alright. You want one? No, I want some. Remember all the sports we used to make with like the pillows and blankets and things? Where you got me to kiss you for the first time? Yeah. You know what? Let's make a deal. Let's pretend we never knew each other before and that we're meeting for the first time. Why? I don't know. I was a little bitch and you were a snotty little kid who was always wiping his nose. Not all the time. Yeah. You are always going, I don't know. It just seems like you can't know anything about me based on what I was like eight years ago. It seems like if we would, it would be better if we could just forget about it and start over. Alright. Ever been in love? Yeah. And? And? I don't know, I've been in love with a couple girls, but like... No, I'm gonna be back or anything. How do you know? I don't. I, I guess. I guess I could tell. I don't know. I bet they love you back. Well, I bet at least one of them loved you back. I don't know. Like, I just think people hit me at first, but. Well, maybe they do. Are you serious? No. Alright, here, let's see if you can throw it into my mouth. No, I'm kidding. Hold on. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Hey. Hey. What's up? That much? You want to go get a watermelon? Yeah, sure. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how good do you think you are? How good am I? I'd say 7 or 8. Well, maybe 6 or 7. Like, I always do what I'm supposed to do with my schoolwork and everything. I don't really care about it, but I mean, I figure, why not? I know, I guess that's my attitude about a lot of things. It's a good approach. You think so? Well, if you really don't care, then yeah. Are you going to college then? Yeah, in the fall. Where? Mm, the University of British Columbia. This was a good idea. I know, wasn't it? So why British Columbia? Well, it's gorgeous up there. And it's far away. I don't want to get here. Well, I've just lived here my whole life. Like, you moved away, so I guess it's different for you, but I don't really see it anymore. Give it a year or so. You so? Maybe.
Shit. Yeah. What happened to your hands? When I ran away, I uh, stayed at this community restaurant for a while. It's just, uh, they've been shut down so they couldn't serve food anymore, and it's just a lot of old hippies coming through playing music, you know, doing drugs. They, they didn't mind I was sleeping on the floor all the time. Yeah, this uh, electric guitar there, they used to, I used to play with it a little bit. It's just it strum chords a lot. Eventually it got to where I wasn't even playing anymore. I was just strumming chords as hard and as fast as I could. Cut my hands up pretty bad. Is this your family ever? No. Well. Yeah, I guess I do. Occasionally. What about you? I miss certain things. Little things, I guess. I don't know. So this is my room. So your dad used to own this bed and breakfast, right? Yeah. Do you know why he sold it? No, I don't know. Went on something weird, though. Yeah. Well, before he left, he got like a big inheritance, right? And then he decided not to take it with him. He just left it here? Yeah, he put it in a bank account, and that was it. Why? I don't know. Leave it for me, I guess. He said he didn't want it. He liked just scraping by. That's pretty romantic. I think it's stupid. Maybe he really did just like scraping by. Maybe. But I feel like at some point he's gonna come out short, you know? And then he's gonna wish he could put his hands on that cash. You're playing devil's advocate, aren't you? Yeah. Testing me? I don't know. It's a good painting. Yeah, I thought so. It's it's a fair guard. What? The painting.
shit, man. I can't believe we just did that. Lay some skin on me, bro. You the man. 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 Shit, my friend, that is an act. Yeah. Oh, shit. Everything all right, Dad? <laughs> that false alarm. I, I thought I burned the lasagna. Ah, uh, here we go. Mmm, smells good. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. There you are. Thank you. You are very welcome. And thank you. Mm -hmm. Some salad, Kelly? Sure. <laughs> Well, you know, if, if you go in the bathroom and rinse it with some, some hot water real quick, then maybe you can get All it right, out. Come and on. This is my room. You can come in if you want. How old are you? I think I'm five. <laughs> I forgot about that picture. What's that on your face? Uh, cake and frosting. My dad brought home this really nasty cake from his work and we didn't really want to eat it, so he just let me stick my face in it. It was really fun. I bet. Here, can I get the green one? Yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. I'm sorry. It's alright. Are you alright? Yeah. Sure. Fine. Alright, so I'll sneak these out with me. Alright. I think I'm gonna take a shower. Alright, I'll probably take off then. It's Charlie. He moved here after you left. It's kind of weird. He always used to hang around when we were working on the school newspaper. He never really said anything, he just sort of hung around. Here, let's cross. Where are we going? Wait, this is the friend you went with me? Yeah. 
Charlie, this is Cynthia. Cynthia, this is Charlie. Hey, well, Charlie. You guys already know each other. So is this what you guys do all day? Yeah. Well, I don't know. We got jobs, right? <laughs> no, no, Charlie, you can back me up, man. You play street music. Well, I guess I'm going to have to see you play sometime. I love looking off down the tracks, off into the distance. It just seems like there's so much possibility, you know? Maybe. I guess I have a different perception, you know, coming up those tracks. And, uh, I feel like it gets, just gets you someplace eventually, you know? And then it's like everywhere else. Maybe it's just better to think about it and not actually follow them. So if I did stay, is this what we'd do? I don't know. Maybe. You know what we should do, guys? We should dress up in weird clothes and go to a restaurant in a different town and pretend we're different people. <laughs> Super! Well, fine, thanks. Can I get you something to drink? Can I... Can I get a... Can I... Can I... Can I get a... Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Looks like the Master Rebel gets here. We'll have a Shirley Temple for myself. Black coffee. For the Duchess here. Yeah, a little cranberry juice. With a slice of lime on the rim. All right. How's the Duchess this evening? Don't get persnickety with me, Thomas. I'm not in the mood for it. I hardly think I was being persnickety. It's merely a cordial inquiry as to your well being. I know cordial when I see it, and that's not it. When. when do I get my Shirley Temple? When. when. Oh, don't you worry. Oh, Who's worrying? Don't. Ready to order? We haven't even looked at our menus yet. All right, I'll be back. Oh, in don't mind her. She's uh, she's just a little hussy, but uh, a few moments would be greatly appreciated. All right. You know, rubber guys. Sometimes the best hiding places are right out in the open. Example, Edgar Allan Poe's The Pruin Letter, where a man conceals an important document simply by leaving it on his desk. Now why don't you take that little shirt of temple of yours, put it right out in the open, and we'll see what happens. Ready to order yet?
There's some time to kill. I have a friend who has some Dexedrine if we want to buy some. I mean, we don't have to. None. Alright. I just feel my mind racing. You get used to it. You don't want to rain or die or something. I don't mind just thinking. You want to go for a walk? No. I think I might just get some sleep. Is that possible? I'll feel better in the morning if I do. All right. Bye. Thanks. So you've been playing a fair bit of music lately? Yeah. I've been catching some of it on the way up the stairs. Sounds pretty good. Oh, thanks. So, would you like to be in a show? Sure. The band's got a gig Friday night, and uh, we just need somebody to open for us with a song or two. I thought you might like to do it. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. So are you still teaching up at the high school then? Cynthia seemed to think you might not approve. Really? Mm -hmm. You dropped out of high school, right? Yeah. Didn't buy it? No. Nah. <laughs> so are you going to be around town for a little while? I think so, oh, yeah. Looking for jobs? Well, I play a bit of street music right now, but nothing beyond that. Is there any money in it? Not really. <laughs> I have to get a real job at some point. Are you scared? About getting a job? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, it's part of the game though, you know? Like, I don't know. You have to get a job, college or not. So I figure it's really about what you do in between. Yeah, like what? Like walking on the railroad tracks. <laughs> How do you write your music? Does it just come to you or do you plan it out first? 
I guess let's start with Alana, like, and then it just builds itself from there. How do you know if it's any good or not? I don't know. How long are we going to stay like this? What's up, kid? Couldn't sleep. What, what happened to the lights? You can't really see anything with them on. What do you guys want to do? What do you want to do, Charlie? I know what we should do. We should go to the wreck and sneak into the pool. I know a way in. Alright. You guys know what we should do tonight? We should go to your church. I've never seen it. Sure. I have to go help Elijah set up with the red lion tomorrow. Well, we'll be up in time for you to go. I told him I'd ride out with him. I'm sorry, you guys can go. My mom used to play this song a lot. At dinner, we had a lot of music at dinner. Remember, because we had this like this huge dinner table out in the dining room. But you know, it's just us. Like, we, so we all sat in one corner. And she had a radio that she was playing music with for us up on the windowsill next to it. But I remember that uh, she had there was an electric hot plate that she had um, for keeping food warm um, between the windowsill and her. I mean, like, she was big, so she could just, like, reach over and, uh, turn the radio. But I was little, so I'd have to, like, lean up, and she didn't want me to burn myself, so she would, uh, she wouldn't let me go, um, change the radio. So I'd have to beg her to get her to, like, rewind and play the song again, because that's the only song either of us wanted to hear in the album.
remember she said the song made her cry. I mean, like, didn't really. Like, or as I didn't see her cry ever, but. I don't know. It's weird. I think. Uh, I was so little, you know, like, I didn't understand, like, how a song that she liked as much as she liked the song could make you so sad, you know? Like. I've been working on a new song for the show, I think. Welcome to the Mosaic Cafe. I hope you enjoy the show. Please welcome Kali Rottweiler and the Hangaround Kids. I'm pretty down. I don't know. Um, like I was thinking about when when I ran away, right? And, and I was like, I don't need college. Don't need any of that. Um, I just assumed when I ran away, that I would magically find my true calling, which I'll work out. Then it did. And, so here I am, Kali Rottweiler, doing exactly what he wants. Nobody tells him any different. He's set. And he's golden. I mean, I really thought that I could... I was, it was good for the rest of my life, you know? I just... I didn't, I didn't think I'd change. 
but then like I mean it's it's a classic you know you, you don't mean to change you have it all you have it all worked out and then all of a sudden you wake up and everything's different I don't do the same things I used to I I didn't mean to stop doing them or anything with it just stop and now I, all, all I want is to go back and do them again but It's not the same, you know. I don't know if I don't even know if I could do them anymore. So, so now I'm thinking, what do I do? I'd go home. <laughs> go to college. I mean, this is when my mom was, you know, you're young. You don't know what you want, and you you'll learn and grow up. <laughs> to do nobody's happy all the time it doesn't work that way but everybody's happy sometimes the mistake I think is when you can't even notice that you're happy you don't even see it when it happens because you're so busy off chasing some silver platter but that's never been a problem for you You know, I taught at Harvard for 16 years. Really? Yeah. Met a lot of pretentious assholes. They didn't care about what you read, just what they had to say about it. You know, when I counted all the years of education that I had to go through to get to that position, and then all the years I put into that job, it took me about 30 years to realize that it sucked. Wow. Everybody hits a bump in the road sometimes. You know, you could go home, go to school, try your hand at that. Somehow I don't think it would help very much. You could stay and try your hand on the railroad tracks again. I am sure you're going to figure out what to do with yourself. I don't worry about you. Why not? Because you have too much pride. Well, it's better than not having enough. Car case after oh, the show. I grabbed it. You did a good job. Thanks. It's a, it's a good song. I don't even like playing the shows. We're street musicians, you know. You you want to play now? Yeah. All right. I'm on it all. The streets and the lights all on me. You know what we should do? We should get a boat with a cabin in it now, like a sailboat or something. Take it down the river. See how far we get. Yeah, we could like uh, fish off it and stuff with food. And collect water and rain barrels. And yeah. Stuff. Well, I don't like fish much, but... Yeah, I was thinking we'd get, like, get a whole bunch of canned food, get a little cook stove and things, stock a bunch of water, sit on the deck and smoke cigars, watch the world drift by, you know. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I went back to my parents' house yesterday. What'd they say? I didn't see them. I went to where I used to play. The yard, woods back behind my house. There's an old junkyard with a bunch of old abandoned cars. I punched out the window of one of the cars and got a big chunk of glass in my hand. Jesus. Hands. Your hands take a beating.
I was, I was just thinking about, I was thinking about when it was just us, you know? You, we would uh, walk around and yeah. go to places, just you and me. I've been thinking a bit about that too. Well, Cynthia leaves at the end of the week. I don't think I'm the same. I don't think I am either. This is my grandmother. She wrote her stuff. No, it's not everything. Was that all you brought back when you went home? Uh, yeah, that was all I wanted. When we went up to Lake Erie, we stayed in these cabins that were right on the water. And since it was so low this year, we paddled out to the first set of reefs. Just a bunch of rocks sticking a foot or so out of the water. And since we were so far out, there was no protection from the wind coming off the lake, and it would just rip through the air until between that and the waves you couldn't hear anything else. And I'd just lay on this little bit of rock and listen to the wind and close my eyes, and it was like being at the edge of the world. I want to take you up there sometime. I'm going to miss you, Ingo. I'm going to miss you too, me and Charlie both. I'll come visit you sometime. It's time. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> You know where I am. I'll call you.